Hello and welcome to your weekend energy update. So let's go ahead and see what messages your angels and your guides have for you today. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far. All right, one more. And there we go. Anchor. Anchor is all about something that has been going on in your life for a really long time, basically. The anchor is about something that's very stable, very tenacious, very long-lasting, quite heavy, anchored down in your life. Kind of like maybe even a contract or someone that moved in recently and they signed the lease or something along those lines. All right, or something, you know, also sometimes that is about someone that lives near the water, okay, moving closer to the beach or a lake, someone who's a fisherman, but there needs to be other cards that um, promote that meaning. So let's see what else we've got. Ooh, there you go. So the lover may have recently moved in or this is someone that intends on staying. Maybe they're staying longer than they said that they would. Let's keep going. Oh, okay. And we've got a friend as well. So this is platonic and this is the actual lover. And this is the energy of they're both staying. <laughs> this one is in anticipation. Okay. It's like I'm waiting. That's their vibe. And I'm going to be your friend for as long as it takes until you realize how I feel about you. Okay. Just saying that's what this person is saying. And this one is literally you know, probably, you know, either living with you or dating you or they want to date you because they've got some pretty serious ideas on how they want to relate with you. And then we've got the anchor. It's literally, I want to be with you, full stop. Like, just take that as it is. That's what the lover is saying. So let's go ahead and see what the tarot have in store. And if you like this reading, please do click like. Help my channel to grow by subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And if you do, click all. That way you won't miss an upload. We have the eight of pentacles. So there's two different meanings that are coming through for two groups of you. The Eight of Pentacles is my work is the most important thing to me. My career is number one. And that is where I sit with this. Like my job is before anything else in my life. Alternatively, this lover may work with you. That's just a little side note for some of you. Um, but this lover actually wants to work at stabilizing with you okay it's like i want to work at this relationship connection um commitment whatever your phase is maybe you've just met them and there's really strong vibes like oh my gosh i really really like you you know you don't know i don't know so we're all at a different you know uh, phase with each one of these these meanings so this is someone extra, extra, super duper special on a physical wavelength with you and, you know, tenacious and I want to work at it. Now, let's see what the lover is. The moon, Pisces energy. Maybe it's a Pisces, but the moon is also about mysteries and secrets. Literally a secret special person someone that you're keeping to yourself behind closed doors maybe they are literally behind closed doors you know but um, this person may be super secretive and mysterious it's like I really just don't know enough about this person I want to know more but like they're so mysterious they're like a closed book or a diary that's locked I need to really prompt them to find out more about them so that we can actually develop something. But they want to work at it. 
now with the other person we've got Virgo energy maybe they're a Virgo check their natal chart if you don't know but with the Virgo energy it's this person here they're kind of like on the sidelines there's somebody that tends to stick to themselves they don't really like to get out and there's somebody that you know um yeah just is working on their spirituality maybe a very spiritual they're both very intuitive and spiritual okay they're both very um you know height they have a heightened awareness to their um you know six senses so this person is going to pick things up really easily in in the realm of energy and so is this person but this person is more along the lines of inclined to do meditation and yoga or things like that whereas this person is just innately very very in tune with everything with with the world around them and everybody's energy like an empath um, they might come about and say I had a dream about you or uh, I had a premonition or I've been having visions today or synchronicities or signs I've been really in tune with you know the numbers that I've been seeing like 1111 or, or 7767 or something um, so this is that person whereas this person is more like going to catch up with you um, for a meditation session or this person may be a friend that you go to Pilates with or, or someone that you know stays at home and prefers to Skype or a phone call or texting you all night or something like that because they think they're a, a friend you know but then they're actually they they're holding a rose they're anticipating more they're like i'm your friend until you know we're not friends anymore and we're more so let's go ahead and see what the gypsy oracle has for you it's interesting because the lover in the middle has the eight of pentacles next to him with the anchor meaning he's actually working on embedding his energy um, around you so it's literally saying i'm working on anchoring myself down with you so unless they've already moved in they may want to move in soon okay maybe they're just holding this back they're they're holding back something from you with the moon energy i'm interested to see what the gypsy oracle is going to say and after this i'll do the amira's love oracle and stay tuned after this because i'll be doing your general energies for today we have merchant which is also the work card this person may work near the waters or they may work far away because this is imports exports there's water here and there's water here so i'm taking that as a very strong um working around water they may work on a cruise ship for some of you that's a strong vibe that's coming through and you see them you know it's like time with this lover is negotiable um, because of work your work and their work so your work hours are maybe getting in the way of your time together okay let me know how that resonates and then we've got foe the reason okay that this needs work with this love is because of challenges alternatively there is a secret challenger in the background with this person or they are your secret challenger for this person you're like keeping them a secret like i'm not going to tell anyone about this person because i like them and i like to keep them but i don't want anyone to know that i'm seeing them so it could very well be something like that now let's go ahead and see what's going on with the hermit so there is sadness grief remorse despair mourning because this person here is in grief she's actually grieving feeling really down and sad okay disappointed all right about this person here she's actually maybe she's been feeling down for a while okay it's all and you've got water here too 
water it's like she's waiting i mean it's the same ship can you see what i'm talking about i don't know if you can see what i can see but it's like they're both waiting for the same ship to come in like this person's waiting and so is she is like when are they gonna get here but she's disappointed because something maybe the ship didn't end up docking at that port or something uh, and she's like well you know i'm getting the vibe that maybe your person is not near you and they say that they'll see you this weekend they can spend the whole weekend together or something and they can't get there it's like a broken broken day or promise or something because of work um, because she's disappointed but it's to do with this person here and they're a hermit it's like they're the untouchable so that's why this secret is here so it's almost like when this person can't be with me i'm with this person kind of maybe let me know if that's your story so i really don't want to leave it there because i feel that is like open-ended so i'm going to get more cards i'll shuffle the gypsy oracle again <clears throat> see if i can get any more messages for you really longing okay this person's actually really missing you just saying they don't want to not see you it's like i really do want to see you like i really really miss you and i'm sorry that i can't see you sometimes and so you just submit ah oh, but it's to this person here so which one is it that you don't get to see sometimes and that you're really missing because this person is submissive to you like anytime you want I'm, I'm gonna be there just click your fingers and and i'm at your doorstep that is this person here but there is someone else that you're really longing for let's see what this person says a reunion i see so this is someone that you're missing and you want to spend more time with but they're kind of the untouchable and they're actually waiting for you just so you know if you've been wondering what this person feels they've been waiting for you okay and you may be feeling really sad thinking when am i going to see them again but they're actually thinking exactly the same about you and this person is like click your fingers and i'm there and but you're really missing this person here i see i've got it now let me know if that's your story all right let's go ahead and see amira's love oracle yeah see the water and the ship and she's waiting how interesting is that courting man Ooh, twin flame now i see that's why it's such an intense connection but which one is a twin flame let me know comment below i'm interested and if you liked it please like it i certainly do hope you enjoyed this reading and as always i send you love peace and light bye for now